and they're really cool clouds. Those are really interesting clouds. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Hold on, I dropped the camera thing. Where'd it go? So you always give me a hassle uh, for losing it. Okay, I got it. Ew, it's all dusty. <laughs> so I wanted to give you an update because you saw the video that I just did with Mandy where we called cursed numbers. I was reading the comments and people were like, please don't die, are you still alive? Yes, I'm still alive, don't worry. Some of you guys were mad at me for doing that because you're worried about me. Don't worry, everything's fine. Those numbers are like creepy pastas, you know? I mean, who knows if one of them is real, I don't really know. Anyways, this morning while I was doing my makeup, I got a phone call. And keep in mind, I called these numbers on October 1st and it is now the 6th. So it's been almost a week, right? So I haven't gotten any weird phone calls in those days and I was like, oh, they're not gonna call me back. Well, today I was doing my makeup, getting ready for the concert and my phone rang and it was unknown number and I wasn't thinking about the cursed numbers. I just picked up the phone and I was like, hello? And there was a short silence and then this man was like, hello? And like this really low, like raspy voice. And right then and there, I thought about Wrinkles the Clown that we called because it sounded just like his voicemail. So I was like, hello, who is this? And there was just silence for 10 seconds and then he hung up. I have no idea who it was. If it was one of the numbers calling back, it said unknown number, so that's kind of creepy. That's like every horror movie. You get called by like an unknown number. Yeah, and you made the mistake of picking it up. I never pick up unknown numbers. With all the wedding stuff happening, like any vendor could be calling us. Like, I feel like now is the time to pick up the phone. Cause like so many wedding plans, you know? So anyways, I don't know what that was. It could have been wrinkles. It could have just been some random guy who called the wrong number, but why would he block his number? Some people just block their numbers. It's not an uncommon thing these That's days. so weird. Anyways, who knows? But yeah, we're heading to Toronto. We're a bit early because every time we've gone to Toronto, we've been late. So we've tried to be early this time. I feel like I went full dad on this one. We left at four. <laughs> it doesn't start till 7.30, but it's a But we didn't leave at drive. four in the morning, so I'm not at the true potential yet. No, that's all dads when you have to go to the airport. Yes. Yeah. Look at the skyscrapers there. Like all the buildings around it are in the light, except for two that are in the shadow. Oh yeah, that's so weird. It looks like they're partially locked. They're not a playable character yet. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. Anyway, so Ty just told me this is his first concert. Oh, I said I went to go see the Great Big Sea when I was a little kid. When you're five? Yeah, the Guys, concert. He I hasn't fell been for half of it. He hasn't been to a concert since he was five. I'm so excited, Bonnie Bear's your first concert! It's my this second is great. concert. This is great. Just because I was five. <laughs> Bean, mean it doesn't you count. can't count the big blue sea or whatever the great it is. Big sea, yes you can. The great big okay. sea. Anyways, we're gonna go to the concert and we'll update you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Two hours later. So there's not many people here yet. We are early. We're like an hour early, so they're just playing random music and yeah. yeah. 
So Ty has made a recent discovery. Well, we're sitting right next to the entrance at this concert, and I realized that this is the greatest thing in the world because I get to see as everybody walks in, the usher's here to help us like with the seats. Yeah. Everyone completely ignores him and is walking in phone first, Instagram at the ready. <laughs> it is great. Everyone I know. runs in like That's everybody walking into the everyone. concert. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone's doing that. I know. Well, you probably did. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, well, there's nothing to take a picture of until the people are on the stage. Right now, it's just purple. Oh, well, there's there's two people. They're, they're touching things. They're touching things. They're getting ready. But it's not Instagram worthy yet. Instagram worthy. But I think. Do you uh, want Instagram worthy? What? That right there. There we go. <laughs> At least I have no boogers on my nose. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it's gonna start soon. Feist is starting soon. I don't know who Feist Five is, minutes. but we will find out. So. Later. All right, so it is the next day now and we are back from the concert We couldn't vlog a lot there because obviously music is copyrighted and we weren't sure if we could bring in like a camera Because I don't know like what the etiquette is of concerts Like I know people have their phones out and they're constantly recording it, but I don't know about Camera cameras? Well, that's why we recorded on your phone. So yeah, exactly. So you guys saw that probably very Brief. Choppy pixelated phone footage. I don't know. <laughs> yes if you could hear us at all, I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, there was very interesting music playing throughout the entire opening, so... Yeah, it was strange. It was like robotic boobops, like... Boop, beep, 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 boop, 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 like the whole like time. the Wii menu yeah. was remixed. Yeah, very strange music before it started, but... Anyway, Ty made a friend. <laughs> a guy friend. sitting beside him. Come here from so you Nashville. can tell the story. From, from, Nashville. from Nashville. From Nashville, Jess. Yeah. He was from Nashville. Yeah. Did I mention he was from Nashville? <laughs> the guy kept saying he was from Nashville. He's like, I'm from Nashville. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay. And he said it like six more times. <laughs> he was a really nice guy. And yeah. I don't want it to make it seem like we're making fun of anybody. Oh, no. We're not. The only thing that I was pointing out at the concert was the fact that everybody was walking in, not even paying attention to the ushers, just with yeah. their phones out Instagramming. Yeah. No, but what was he telling you? Because he, he was, was talking about, you know, that he's a big fan. He was asking me if I like sports because he was wondering if the Leafs were playing because we were in in the Scotiabank Arena, which I'm used to calling it the ACC, because that's where the Leafs play, and I'm pretty sure the Raptors play there too, and the hockey season's just starting up. I don't watch any sports, so I told him, unfortunately, you're sitting next to a guy who doesn't watch any sports whatsoever. He took that as, I hate sports. <laughs> and while the intermission was going on, as they were setting up between the starting act and Bon Iver coming on, there was just a video of a guy doing free throws. Yeah. And there was a percentage of how many he made versus how many he's taken, and all that going on. And the guy was just talking to me, all that stuff. It's like, so since you probably hate sports, I'll explain what's going on. So that guy's doing free throws right there. <laughs> oh, he's trying to explain sports to you? And it's oh like, I know gosh. sports. I just don't <laughs> watch them. I don't like watching it on TV. I never understood watching it on TV. Watching yeah. it live? Yeah, it's great. Never on TV. Tell them what he asked about the fries. So... <laughs> While he was there, he explained he was from Nashville, and the reason why they came up is because there was three other places that they were performing, and Toronto ended up being the cheapest, despite the fact that they were from the States. Yeah. So they came up, and he was looking around, and he turned to me, and he's like, I know this is an odd question. What are those weird fry things that everybody's eating? So I said, well, mostly everyone's eating ketchup on fries, but if you see something really weird, it's probably poutine. You know, gravy, cheese curds on top of fries. Poutine, is that how you pronounce it? Yes, but if you go to French Canada, they'll say everything that we're doing is wrong. Yeah, I'm always so surprised. I was telling Ty this. Like, whenever I describe poutine to someone who's not from Canada, or if I post a picture on my Twitter, people think it's so gross because it's fries with gravy and cheese curds, and people think that gravy on fries is disgusting disgusting but we're so used to it because we're from Canada and like it tastes so good I feel like even if I wasn't from Canada I would look at it and be like mmm I want that right now. Anyways, though, poutine, really good stuff, really yummy. You gotta try at least once in your life, but uh, it's really good. Yeah, it's my favorite. I can't eat it's, it right now. It's so yummy, but yeah, apparently, apparently, that was a wrong. <laughs> apparently, that was the I wrong have word. celiac disease. I was gonna. And apparently, there's gluten in the flour that they I was use about for to gravy. say. Apparently, there's gluten, but that's a definite fact. Mm-hmm. Apparently. 
You're a YouTuber. Apparently. That's one of the things that you do to really bug somebody is whenever you say their job title, just put it in finger quotes. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I hate when people do that to me. Like, you YouTube isn't a, a YouTuber. real job. So anyway, next thing that I wanted to talk about was the row that we were sitting in, okay? I've been to many concerts in my life. Probably I could count them on both hands how many concerts I've been to. And every time I've been, I sit at the end of the row because I like to be in the aisle seat just because I don't like to be squished. Every time I've been, people are getting up and down during intermissions or before the concert. But during the concert, everyone's either sitting or standing. During this Boney Bear concert, probably about 32 times, we had to stand up to let someone get out of the aisle. And there's only like 15 seats in our aisle. And every two seconds, someone would get up to either go to the bathroom or to go get a drink. We were playing musical chairs. I was up and down holding my coat, my purse, my phone so many times and I'm like, do these people not just sit and watch the concert? It's like no one was just sitting and watching Bon Iver. They were just getting up constantly and it was driving me absolutely crazy. And the music was so loud. I sound like an old person. Ty, how old am I? I'm like, Bye. the music was so loud. People were singing. <laughs> people kept getting up and down. I feel like I'm 82. Anyways, I'm just not used to loud sounds. And I have that ringing in my ears, so I probably damaged my ears even more. My you know when you- are still ringing. My ears are really ringing now. And like I left the concert and like my left ear, I couldn't hear anything out of it. I was like, oh, there goes my eardrum. Like you'd think a Bon Iver concert would be so calm because it's acoustic music. Nope. He had the drums going. He had the electronic noises. I still feel old. The electronic sounds that those musicians do. What is that, an electric piano? <laughs> Anyways though, we had a really good time. I was so glad that I finally got to see him live after so many years, so I'm very grateful. Tickets were expensive though, Pony Bear. Why'd you make it so expensive? Anyway, we're gonna get going now. And Minnie's here, saying goodbye. She's glowing. Look at you glowing in the sun. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye. See you guys.